Hi folks, well, uh, I had another little trip down the uh, Secret River. Well, not down, up the Secret River. <laughs> it goes to the top as far as I could go, or as far as I could find where there were actually water flowing. It's a lot wider than I thought it were, and I did find a few little pieces. It, in fact, I did uh, about four or five hundred percent better than last week, which is not saying much really if you saw the last one. <laughs> but anyway, I'll get on with it. It's nice to be nice. So guys, another little adventure. Where I am now is right at the top, well not right at the top of the Secret River, but a lot further up as it comes out of woods. Um, I've measured this, I thought it was longer than it is, and it's actually only about five kilometres long. as the entire thing, you know. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a look down here and see if I can do a few cheeky pans and find some little specks of gold. Got me snuffer bottle this time. Oh yes. So, here I am. Car's about, I don't know, 100 yards up there. There's a forestry path here where all dog walkers come and ask you what you're doing when you're panning. Picking bananas, obviously. Got a golf pan. Uh, I'm just going to have a look quick round places like this. That little drop there. That pile of gravel there. I've got enough water to do a bit of panning, so that's always handy. That I can get that I can pan. So what I'll do, I'll have a test there. And I'll have a test on that edge there before that corner. But you can see it's all it's all bent. So if there's anything in here, I'll find it. It should be secret river. This this is top well almost the top of it. Other side at river, uh, other side at road. Where it comes out is like swampland. So there are small streams, but this is where it widens out. So hopefully. This is where gold will start. I'm not expecting a lot, but it's all, in, it's all for fun, isn't it? One there. Very small. I went behind there, but there's nothing. There's no gravel. There's some big rocks and there's some big chunks of steel, which would be good, but there's no gravel. It's all uh, mud or clay. I mean, if you've seen how about this river, it's got a clay base. All the deposits on this were dropped by a, a glacier. So what's in the river, the river rocks have come from somewhere else. And the, I took three pans, took one over there, and the last one I took there, and we've just got that one piece. So I'll check, do a bit more digging about here, and in here where these deposits are, and then I might just have a walk further down and try a few more pans, see if there's any likely spots. I mean, if you find a nice little spot, it'd be worth looking. If it's, if it's not nice, there's not a lot of gold, then it's just a bit of fun, isn't it? Like I said, but this is how this this is how gold gets in here. All these little drainage ditches just bring it down. But I'll have a look further down there as well. I'll do a couple more pans and see what I can find up here. I'll show you if I get old. There's one more tiny piece in there. Where am I? Under my finger. Very small. Uh, I've just noticed under here. Oh, water runs under that. It's a big hole underneath there. Can't get into it, not be under it either, because it's undermining that tree. And one day I might be back here, and that tree might fall on my head. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a little wander down there a few hundred yards and see if I can find any sort of drops that look any good. You never know what you're going to find. And that's just from behind that there. I'm gonna do a couple more pans there. I'm not going much further down there, there's loads of trees hung up and loads of stuff that's just in way, so I mean it's alright up here, but I think it's just just too um, too windy. It's not concentrating anywhere, it's like it might be just little specks everywhere. Obviously I've best bit I've been to is further down where I usually dig on Secret River. But it's worth a look. Might be nice to have a camp up here one night. So I can keep away from the road. The road's just a bit, forest road. People walking past. And I couldn't park my car up there overnight. I'd have to get dropped off. But hey, I'll clean that out there, see what I get. Same on green pans anyway. My neck hurts now. <laughs> I've got some, I've got a pain in neck, so to speak, and uh, I went to the doctor's and he's given me some pills. And I haven't took the one that I can't drive with. He says, take one. If you take one of these three times a day, you can't drive. If you're driving, don't take it. At night, you can take two. And if I take two, you don't need to drive, you can fly. It's unreal. That one's a little bit better. It's not quite half a millimetre. Same space. But we're only coming in ones. And as I say, that's we had a lot of rain and that's acted like a riffle. Working on theory that heavier stuff travels more to the middle, I'm gonna go a bit that way. I'll try that, see what comes out of there. And then after that, I'll try another one at that side on its own, because what I've just done is just sculpt it along. But I'm gonna just try that way first. from that storm up. Widowmakers everywhere. All the way through. Forest they've cleared up paths. That's path up there they've cleared all that off but in here it's unreal. So I won't be going further than this. I'm just gonna go and have a look on a couple more pans. So I did two more pans, got another one, there, but it wasn't from that area, it was from here, but like I say I think it's too windy just to concentrate in any particular place and I'm sure when water comes around here it's like, oh, I'm saying it rages, I'm sure it does, you can see how it's, how it's all cut out now, that's all been cut out there. It's possible there's some gold in here. I might uh, just have a sneaky pan down here and then I think I'll call it a day. Had a bit of fun. I've got 400% more than I got last week. <laughs> Although it's not a lot, but hey, it's all for fun. That surprised me. Another very tiny one, that's not one, but that is. But it surprised me because I've just dug a couple of shovels off the top of that mud there. So. Yeah, as I say, I'm just, I'll be sticking with further down. There's lots of places to work further down there. But uh, I think I'm going to call it a day and walk back up. I've only been down, well, 
maybe an hour and a half, just having a poke about. That's good enough. Never gonna get rich here, but you can still have some fun, can't you?